I've always considered myself smarter than everyone around me, and sometimes, believe me, I've been ashamed of it. At the least, all my life I've looked away and never could look people straight in the eye. The more you succeed in loving, the more you'll be convinced of the existence of God and the immortality of your soul. Believe to the end, even if all men went astray and you were left the only one faithful, bring your offering, even then, and praise God in your loneliness. There is nothing higher and stronger and more wholesome and useful for life in later years than some good memory, especially a memory connected with childhood, with home. I am strongly convinced that not only too much consciousness but even any consciousness at all is a sickness. Reality is infinitely diverse compared with even the subtlest conclusions of abstract thought and does not allow of clear-cut and sweeping distinctions. Reality resists classification. I believe the best definition of man is the ungrateful biped. My friend, the truth is always implausible. Did you know that? To make the truth more plausible, it's absolutely necessary to mix a bit of falsehood with it. People have always done so. To love is to suffer and there can be no love otherwise. The more incompetent one feels, the more eager he is to fight. The degree of civilization in a society can be judged by entering its prisons. Since man cannot live without miracles, he will provide himself with miracles of his own making. He will believe in witchcraft and sorcery, even though he may otherwise be a heretic, an atheist, and a rebel. What man wants is simply independent choice, whatever that independence may cost, and wherever it may lead. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? Taking a new step, uttering a new word, is what people fear most. If God does not exist, then everything is permissible. To be in love is not the same as loving. You can be in love with a woman and still hate her. Wealth is the number of things one can do without. But men love abstract reasoning and need systematization so much that they think nothing of distorting the truth, closing their eyes and ears to contrary evidence to preserve their logical constructions. Man is a creature that can get accustomed to anything. And I think that is the best definition of him. My soul bleeds and the blood steadily, silently, disturbingly, slowly swallows me whole. The more I detest men individually, the more ardent becomes my love for humanity. Let us not forget that the reasons for human actions are usually incalculably more complex and diverse than we tend to explain them later and are seldom clearly manifest. Besides, nowadays, almost all capable people are terribly afraid of being ridiculous and are miserable because of it. There is immeasurably more left inside than what comes out in words. Nothing is more seductive for a man than his freedom of conscience, but nothing is a greater cause of suffering. Nature doesn't ask your permission. It doesn't care about your wishes or whether you like its loss or not. You are obliged to accept it as it is and consequently all its results as well. Intelligence alone is not nearly enough when it comes to acting wisely. Only through suffering can we find ourselves. People really do like seeing their best friends humiliated a large part of the friendship is based on humiliation, and that is an old truth well known to all intelligent people. To go wrong in one's own way is better than to go right in someone else's. I gave up caring about anything, and all the problems disappeared. The secret of man's being is not only to live, but to have something to live for. Men do not accept their prophets and slay them, but they love their martyrs and worship those whom they have tortured to death. A novel is a work of poetry. In order to write it, one must have tranquility of spirit and of impression. The formula two and to make five is not without its attractions. Destroy my desires, eradicate my ideals, show me something better, and I will follow you. What is hell? I maintain that it is the suffering of being unable to love. At first, art imitates life, then life will imitate art, then life will find its very existence from the arts. The death of a child is the greatest reason to doubt the existence of God. They were renewed by love. The heart of each held infinite sources of life for the heart of the other. If one wanted to crush and destroy a man entirely to mete out to him the most terrible punishment, all one would have to do would be to make him do work that was completely and utterly devoid of usefulness and meaning. One must love life before loving its meaning. Yes, and when the love of life disappears, no meaning can console us. She looked much younger then, 
her age indeed, which is almost always the case with women who retain serenity of spirit, sensitiveness, and pure sincere warmth of heart. To old age, I believe there is no one deeper, lovelier, more sympathetic, and more perfect than Jesus. Lack of originality everywhere, all over the world from time immemorial has always been considered the foremost quality and the recommendation of the active, efficient, and practical man. Man is sometimes extraordinarily, passionately, in love with suffering. A society should be judged not by how it treats its outstanding citizens, but by how it treats its criminals. The Russian soul is a dark place. I can see the sun, but even if I cannot see the sun, I know that it exists. And to know that the sun is there, that is living. Man has such a predilection for systems and abstract deductions that he is ready to distort the truth. Intentionally, he is ready to deny the evidence of his senses only to justify his logic. Perhaps I really regard myself as an intelligent man only because throughout my entire life I've never been able to start or finish anything. May you be forever blessed for that moment of bliss and happiness which you gave to another lonely and grateful heart. Isn't such a moment sufficient for the whole of one's life? A man who lies to himself and believes his own lies becomes unable to recognize truth either in himself or in anyone else and he ends up losing respect for himself and for others. Dreams seem to be spurred on, not by reason, but by desire. Not by the head, but by the heart. And yet what complicated tricks my reason has played sometimes. In dreams, a hundred suspicions don't make a proof. The world will be saved by beauty. I think the devil doesn't exist, but man has created him. He has created him in his own image and likeness. Men like to to count their troubles. Few calculate their happiness. God has such gladness every time he sees from heaven that a sinner is praying to him with all his heart as a mother has when she sees the first smile on her baby's face. The most offensive is not their lying. One can always forgive lying. Lying is a delightful thing for it leads to truth. What is offensive is that they lie and worship their own lying. I want to suffer and be purified by suffering. Paradise is hidden in each one of use. It is concealed within me, too, right now, and if I wish, it will come for me in reality tomorrow, even, and for the rest of my life. If you love all things, you will also attain the divine mystery that is in all things, for then your ability to perceive the truth will grow every day, and your mind will open itself to an all-embracing love. They tease me now, telling me it was only a dream, but does it matter whether it was a dream or reality? If the dream made known to me the truth, was it all put into words or did both understand that they had the same thing at heart and in their minds, so that there was no need to speak of it aloud, and better not to speak of it, to study the meaning of man and of life I am making significant progress here. I have faith in myself. Man is a mystery. If you spend your entire life trying to puzzle it out, then do not say that you have wasted your time. I occupy myself with this mystery because I want to be a man.